Here we go, everything wrong with FNAF security breach in two minutes. The game is extremely buggy, especially on launch, with players often getting soft locked, Freddy being unenterable, and the animatronics being duplicated. While some people may find the game breaking glitches funny, I doubt they'll think the same for the awful frame rate. New mechanics like distractions and hiding, which are advertised in the trailers, are completely unnecessary as you can very easily outrun the animatronics instead. The Pete's Plex is way too big and unnecessary as you can easily beat the game without exploring the mass majority of it, and can you really blame them? Because of the sheer size of the setting, it drastically increases the frame rate, making the Pete's Plex look like utter dog shit. The Pete's Plex is also way too open world for a pretty linear game. It's also way too bright, taken away from the atmospheric tension as you can see an animatronic from a fucking mile away. It's a kid's game. The game is very boring and repetitive, with most of it being get to this section but don't get caught by fucking crocodile man. The jump scares are lacklustre and not scary as they're very predictable and a lot more frustrating than terrifying. Freddy's a good guy, cause fucking course he is. The game is way too easy and could be beaten by a 7 year old. In fact, the only section I had trouble on was the endo bit, which only took me like two tries. Some puzzles, I'm talking about major size, make no sense and are downright impossible without looking it up. The game was delayed twice of us getting a shitty fighting game instead as an apology. And even with that, the game was extremely buggy on launch. The new antagonist, Vanny, who had a really cool backstory and help wanted, and was actually given a really cool introduction in the trailers as this creepy bunny lady with a knife, will only appear in a few scripted moments and some shitty ending cutscenes, or should I say, fucking comic books. Oh yeah, and she loses the knife and has a much worse jump scare than shown in the trailer. This lack of screen time really just makes the character a bit of a joke now. Lore in this game is way too wacky and stupid, and even though FNAF is known for having out of world lore, this game takes it way too far. There are way too many unnecessary endings which I know can be called collectibles but they just really don't need to be there and they just make the lore even more complicated. The Blob. Now my final point which I know made a lot of people angry, the Burn Trap ending. Burn Trap does not need to be back, so William Afton does not need to be back, just make a new villain and don't make him utter dog shit. Anyway that's the video, please like and subscribe.